Hey all my daughter and today we are traveling to Colorado. OMG. So it is currently Don't have a watch. Can't see my phone. So I'm not too sure what time it is. But I'm about to do my skincare. Um brush my teeth and then do my skincare and then pack all that up. I don't know how I'm gonna put any of that in my suitcase. You're gonna you're gonna see my suitcase. It's a little full. I um I could barely close it. So I'm gonna have to weigh that and make sure that's not over 50 pounds, which it's it's looking like it is, but I don't think it actually is. Cause I don't pack heavy, heavy stuff. So I don't know. Um so I'm just gonna do my I'm just gonna brush my teeth real quick, do my skincare off camera, listen to some music, and then I'll be back. Okay, so my big tripod's broken, so you can't, you're not really gonna be able to like have a good, I don't have a good angle or whatever, but oh well. So, basically, I have to put three skincare bags. I know, crazy. I don't even know where, honestly. Okay, Let's see here. We'll take out my. Or maybe I'll stuff that in, stuff these in, close that up, and put it like, you just, I don't know, I, because this time around I'm not taking a carry on, so there's so much stuff, like everything's going in the suitcase, so that's the issue. Um, that one, is it? Okay, let's see here. I don't know what we're gonna do. We're gonna have to stuff them in the bottom or something. Or try to stuff them in. Uh, uh. Three bags, y'all. I was not joking. Three bags. I think, oh. hmm. maybe not, honestly. And, and it's extended. It's it's extended. But the thing is, when I bought the suitcase, they had a bigger one. I didn't get the bigger one. So that's why I most of the time can't fit my stuff because I got the smaller one. And that's the issue. Kind of just not thinking I need that blanket because, honestly... It's not gonna close. Like it's it's not gonna. Okay, I don't need this blanket because it's literally not gonna close if I have that blanket. Oh, I need that. Okay, let's close it up. Maybe sitting on this, honestly. Hold on. Goodness. Hold on, I have to sit on this because there's no way this thing is going to close. Hold on. So I guess we're leaving here at, like, in the next five minutes. Even though I was going to leave here at 7.10. Oh well. So I'm going to go heat up my macaroni and cheese and then put that in my suitcase. That's all I'm taking because I'm not full with the sandwich and it opening in my bag. We're not doing that. We're just going to do the mac and cheese. So I'm pretty much packed. I'm just making sure I don't... I, don't need nothing else. I need to take some tissues. Some tissues real quick. But yeah, so. Alrighty. I'll see you when I'm making my food. So I have to shove a little tiny bag in my suitcase because I need to put it in my 
And my hoodie. Oh, my tripod. Let's go. freaking car what the heck literally crashed there's yellow tape on it so basically an update when we got we got to the airport i do not like the airport because it's too busy so we went to the rental car place and then we got a car and then we realized that the car was crashed not horribly but crashed enough to where no reason to take it so we got a different car. We was originally getting a Toyota 4 on it. It this is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. But then, then I don't know exactly what the name of the car is, but it's a Jeep. It's not like a Jeep Jeep. It's a uh, it's a it's a Jeep SUV. I don't even know. But um, it's fine. It just doesn't have a third row, which is kind of weird because I thought that they did. So that's kind of weird, but we have to go and get food. So we have food, because we have a kitchen too, so it's a fully functional kitchen, fridge, stove, sink, dishwasher, like it's fully functional. I don't really know what to get, because I don't want to get too much since we're not here for that long. But like we have to get like, um, like we have to get like ketchup, whatever. But I think we're just, I think we're going to get it in and out because there's one that's only three miles away. So we're gonna go there first and then we'll go and just get a few things. Really just not even that much, just some stuff. So we have something. So that's the update. The hotel room, I don't, I didn't do a tour yet, but it's pretty, pretty basic. It's just a hotel room that has a kitchen, kind of big. And this couch is like a bed, but then it also has like another part. So it's like, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like this is just like an end table like it splits right there but it's like it's just an end table so i just have all my stuff charging um it's not where it's going to stay permanently but for now it is because i brought a search protector i don't recommend because hotels i don't think they want you to like that. they don't want you to do that but if not i would have had to um put all my electronics in different places because there's nothing that has like multiple ports and i have three plugs so yeah but i also forgot to bring on more shorts so i only have i think one pair of shorts so i forgot to so we are currently at in and out um our food is going to be ready soon so i'll keep our receipts i cannot wait because to, um, i would say i could put that in try it so hopefully it's good okay, so we're going to try the burger Target getting a few things, and it's so hard to travel because you can't take 
air is hooked in the wings, and the plane will blow up probably. So, oh my gosh. so let's see. It said it's still open, and it doesn't matter if I fail because I don't live here, so it doesn't matter. But it's just too difficult because you can't take that stuff, so then you have to buy that stuff, which is annoying. Try it again. What in the world? We're locked out. Let's drive or just drive. <laughs> yeah, drive. Drive? I drive around to the private lobby. Let's try it one more time. What makes you think it's gonna work? I don't know. Nope. Oh my gosh. So basically, we got trapped out of our hotel room. Um, our key to our hotel room works, but the key to the dumb broke down door thing to actually get in the hotel does not work because i guess they just don't make enough money to replace it the handle is about to fall off literally so um we was trapped out there at late at night so we have we have to call the hotel because we got in because we, because a guy came out so we got in but we have to leave again soon and we need to be able to get back in so this is just not good. Y'all, our friend is landing at the airport soon, and her taxi time on the runway it says 17 minutes. That doesn't make any yeah. sense why it would be almost 20 minutes just to taxi on the, on the thing. And it's nighttime, so there shouldn't be as many people at the airport. When we landed, it was f it was five minutes taxi, but we had to sit at the... We had to sit on the on the special parking place for like five, 10 minutes because there was someone, there was still an air, uh, air, cause we, I guess they put the plane in sport mode and we got there faster. So we had to wait for another plane to leave our gate. But it was only five minutes taxi, so I don't know why it'd be almost 20 minutes. That doesn't make any sense. So y'all, it's 3.11 in the morning and we are only gonna get like three hours of sleep. I'm, I'm over it, like, I'm over it at this point. Okay, I just got all the car, just took another break. It's just so hot in there, but I'm just gonna suck it up. It'll be over in like five hours. But, oh well, I'm just gonna go in the bathroom. Can I go to the bathroom? And I'm just gonna maybe spend a little extra time in there because there's air conditioning. So, yeah, because I also my toe would be hurt. I don't know why, but. It really hurts, so, yeah. So hey, y'all, I am about to go back in. It's currently 4 or 2. I've been out here for probably an hour now. I don't know, probably an hour. Um, I'm not coming back here again, coming, out, coming back out here again because we're kind of low on gas, so I'm not gonna come back out here. But I made it till 4, so I can make it until 5. And then 5-ish, when they'll end, and, they'll, and then we'll go eat, and then we'll, We'll be eating and whatever it'll be fine and then after that we'll leave so yeah but i just i i don't i just I, I just don't understand how they expect people to sit right next to each other like we're talking shoulder to shoulder and be fine like i i just don't i just don't understand that like i don't understand why they think people are just gonna be able to do that and like yeah, not pass out or whatever. I don't, I'm not passed out. Like, I don't know. Like, it, it doesn't make any sense. Like, they have air for a reason. Turn the air on. Like, I, just doesn't make any sense to me. But yeah, so I'm going to go back in. See y'all later. Okay, so this is the update of being in the country at a, at a horse arena. Um, the white pants are no longer white. Um, it's definitely... 
Um, definitely not white. I don't understand how they got that dirty. I really don't. Um, same there. And then it's really bad. It's even like kind of underneath a little bit. Like I don't, I don't know why it's so bad. I know my shoes are on the bed. Oh well, the shoes are pretty bad. I'm not that bad, I guess. Um, I guess pretty bad, kind of. Um, the pants are definitely a lot worse. <laughs> um, these I can't. I don't think I can wash. So I don't. I'll try when I get home. They're the most uncomfortable things ever. I will never be wearing those again. They're too uncomfortable. It broke my whole Tony. I'm not going to show, but, like, it broke a corner off because it kept rubbing. Like, hold on. It was this foot. I, it kept, like, it kept rubbing. Like, I, it kept rubbing on, it's like, I, I kept rubbing and it, it, like, broke my Tony off. Okay, so we're in the airport and I'm testing my microphone right now. Um, our flight is delayed. It delayed until 6.20. And I was supposed to leave at 5.50, so, unfortunately. So, hopefully the mic is working good, because I'm using the different mic. So, I don't know. Okay, so basically, we got home, but we had such a rough landing. I feel like I did not do enough filming to actually... I just, I don't think I did enough to be able to even, like, say or any of that. But... Either way, whatever flew me. So when we was coming in, there was like a lot of turbulence or whatever. I don't, I don't know what this pilot was doing. And then we, I guess he was coming in too fast, so he put, like put the bright, like he put like the wing, like the pilot things down, like to. They always do it when you're landing to slow down or whatever. So then we like before we before we landed, it was like really wobbly, like wobbly or whatever. And then we landed, boom, hit the ground, kind of bounced up, and then. We, he put he, like he. It was a few seconds before he put the put the before he put the brakes on. Um. So then we finally stopped. But before when we was taking off from Denver, he took so long to get that plane up. Like I don't know why, but he took so long. Like it was like we was full throttle. We was going for a little bit, and I'm like, why are we not going up? Like this is weird. But I'm also used to big giant planes, and this was a smaller plane. So. And it was a full plane, so, yeah, but, yeah, so, hope y'all like this vlog, uh, surprise, su subscribe, hit the, hit the bell, if you should like the video, and I should have filmed more, but, it was only four days, and it's kind of, I could have, like, I could have honestly filmed, like, two or three vlogs, but there, we just didn't really do much, we just went and did that, and we didn't really, like, go sightsee, because we was going to do that on Sunday, yesterday, but we didn't really have time, I guess. We would have to wake up at like 8 in the morning. So, yeah. Bye, y'all.